Um, this is a fun day. It's a fun day for, for me. I remember uh, when we first agreed many, many years ago with one of our guys who, bright guy, he's been working in chorus for maybe six, seven years, he'd come from Intel, he's an Israeli guy, and he said, I need to move home. And I don't remember why he needed to move home, but he needed to move home. And we said, geez, you're so good, we don't want to lose you. And that caused us to actually start the R&D center uh, in Haifa. And why are we in Haifa? Because, as I said, he needed to move home. His home was Haifa, and uh, that's why we got started, uh, started up there. And yet, seeing the growth, the talent in this market, uh, the folks we've been able to attract to Microsoft, uh, the great companies that get started in Israel, a number of which uh, we've had a chance to acquire, we really wanted to make sure we could continue to, in a proper way, uh, scale up uh, our ability to really participate in and, and take advantage of uh, the talented folks uh, in the Israeli market. I was teasing Danny and, and Moshe earlier, if you actually do the math, Microsoft is almost as much an Israeli company as we are a U.S. company. Uh, now you might say, how is that possible? Uh, if you take our total number of employees in Israel and divide by the population of Israel, and then you compare it to our total U.S. population and divide by the U.S. population, uh, Israel, uh, Ireland, Denmark, in the U.S. are our four most developed Microsoft countries in terms of employees per, per capita, so to speak. And, uh, and that's not true in India and China, where we have our other strategic development centers. They just have so many darn people. Uh, <laughs> uh, but this is, you know, it's, it's, it's important. Uh, it comes the, the week after, ironically, the week after the celebration of the 60th anniversary of Israel. And uh, in a sense, you know, for us, we'll be doing what, next year, 20 years of doing of Microsoft doing business in Israel. And uh, I don't want to sound nostalgic. You can take a look at all of this stuff and look at the past. We sit here in this building and we look at the future. We're doing a lot of fantastic R&D as a company. We believe that this shift to the next generation where PCs, servers, internet, phones, and TVs all work together seamlessly. We call that the software plus services generation, that that's important. That there's going to be incredible new opportunities and redoing the way businesses do computing, really merging the world <laughs> online of content and community and commerce in new and exciting ways, revolutionizing the user interface of, the, of these devices so they recognize your speech and your intent. And all of those opportunities and possibilities excite us, and we're fairly unique. We're one of the few companies, maybe the only company in our industry, that's really investing broadly to do that on the desktop, in new devices, online, as well as in the, as well as in the enterprise, enterprise. And we really do have a microcosm of all of that here at Microsoft Israel, from our sales and services, work to the R&D presence. We're doing things online, doing things for the enterprise, we're doing things for the desktop, and we're doing things for next generation devices, mobility, TV, etc. So it's fun to be here, it's fun to, to celebrate, and certainly we'll, we'll look forward to your, your questions and comments. Thank you. Okay, Shailot. Questions? Shailot. 